you know, you can't predict the future, but you can look at the past and you can look at the values and where the appreciations hit in the last year. And this is not something that's gonna happen all the time. Hey, it's Noel coming to you with a video. It's been a really long time since I posted a video. You know, the winter time, it gets really crazy and busy where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I kind of like to take a little bit of a break so I can uh, come back with my commentary. And you know, the market has been insanely crazy. I don't even need to go into the numbers, but I can tell you this, we've hit about three years of appreciation in one year in the housing market. So just think about that for a second. There's really no signs that it's going to slow down, or maybe it's gonna slow down the appreciation a little bit for 2021, but not too much. The demand is there. We're undersupplied of close to a million homes. Home buyers need houses to live. And that leads into everything that I do. I'm in the single family rental business. Uh, I've been doing a lot of business in the build to rent. We've had to become really creative to find homes because you know, all the same people that need to buy a home, they also need to either buy or rent a home, actually. I like how Housing Wire puts it, the forbearance grows. These people's homes that are in forbearance are just keep going up in value. I think there's a good chance they'll be able to come out of it. Of course, there's gonna be some foreclosures. There always is. But a lot of these homes even get sold before they even get to being an REO. So to think that there's gonna be a lot of homes on the market because of foreclosures is kind of a moot point. Uh, the fact is people still need homes to buy, to live in, to rent. You have a lot of sellers that have been on the sidelines waiting to see if they want to sell. And we've had a lot of portfolio holders come to us and say, is this the right time to sell? You know, you can't predict the future, but you can look at the past and you can look at the values and where the appreciations hit in the last year. And this is not something that's going to happen all the time. We're not going to see double digit appreciation every year. And it's rare we ever see that anyways. And sometimes it's within a few markets. But this is a rare phenomenon that's happened in the last year. So should you sell? I don't know. You're not going to get this type of thing happen again. Will it go up some more? Yeah, possibly. Will we hit a leveling off at some point? Yeah, I think so pretty soon. But I don't see anything as far as more than a 5% decline in a market unless you're in certain types of markets. Now, rents in urban areas have gone down and apartments have gone down but in the suburban areas they're still clicking along at three plus percent every year as far as rent appreciation so that leads to the whole point of this I'm still looking for homes to buy for investors these investors are looking for homes to buy to supply rental stock to what would be considered really like first-time home buyer or somebody who fits in that mold or even uh, somebody who is a even more well qualified uh, renter and they need homes to rent and we've gotten super creative in how we're doing this whether it's a builder whether they're large or small really mostly medium to small size builders we're going in and offering them more equity into their deals maybe something like a fee build but a little bit different because even opportunities to let the builder stay in the deal afterwards and have some equity in the built to rent developments or scattered site new construction homes providing debt providing equity coming into the deal on the land development side anything you can think think of that a builder might need as far as capital of any kind that's where we're coming in and that's where my clients are coming into these deals and paying a very good price paying very competitive numbers where you're not getting even that much of a discount to retail and that discount is even uh, null and void because of the velocity how quickly they turn their money not having to do all the marketing reduce commission building a more of a cookie cutter home. So all of those things play into this. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been really out there trying to beat the bushes to find homes for these investors to buy. So that's it. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, the market's crazy. I'm going to give more commentary in the coming weeks on really with the home appreciation and supply and things like that. But there is a great undersupply. And so we're looking for more homes and that's because the demand is there. So let me know. Hope to hear from you. Please comment. It's been a while since I did a video, so uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.